Hello, I'm Tobias Bayer, consultant at Verovis. First, who are we and what's our daily business? We are a consultant firm for corporate performance management and advanced analytics. Our guiding principles are work pragmatically and deliver tangible results. In this video, I will introduce you to our new solution for anomaly detection with respect to taxation and accounting. It was developed for analyzing all journal entries that are related to taxes within your company. Before we jump right into the tool, let me give you a short introduction about the business case and the tool's objectives. The large number of tax-related events in a company combined with a complex taxation leads to a challenging situation where mistakes made by humans can easily happen. At the same time, it is difficult to keep track of the tax-related account usage and compliance. Mistakes lead not um, only to a lack of compliance, but also to time-consuming corrections or legal consequences. That's why we developed an algorithm-based solution for our customers that um, yeah, helps them to monitor all tax-related postings efficiently. It runs automatically. This means each day or each month, depending on your preferences, the data is pulled from your ERP system. Anomalies are automatically detected and a comprehensive dashboard with all current anomalies is immediately updated for you. When the algorithm predicts what kind of taxation should have been used, it considers all relevant invoice attributes like the customer, the amount, the product sold, the date, etc. Through a feedback tool, the algorithm learns over time to detect anomalies near human level performance. If the algorithm has found an anomaly, you can get insights about the algorithm decision process for a better understanding why the algorithm chose to report an anomaly. As a result, you can expect an optimization of the tax burden. For each journal entry, you get, get a tax code suggestion, which enables you to double check whether the tax code is correct or whether the most favorable tax code was used for the company. Additionally, the corrected journal entries raise the quality of your entire tax-related accounting. But let's look at our tool in action. First, we provide for you a guidance. So if any questions about specific features arise, you can go back and read about every aspect of the tool. We have also provided tool tips to gain a better understanding about the crucial functionalities. At the top of the dashboard, you see all anomalies found. Each row in this table represents a journal entry where the algorithm thought that another tax code might have been more appropriate. The anomaly score in the table indicates how certain the algorithm is that another tax code should have been used. You can, of course, sort the table in order to get the top anomalies. Alternatively, use the filter panel on the right. Select tax code of interest uh, anomalies with a high amount or just filter down to anomalies in the recent period. In the middle of the table, you see uh, the column actual tax code. Here is for each journal entry the tax code displayed, which is currently noted in the system. It is to mention that although you see numbers in a customer environment, this number is replaced by an actual label for a better understanding. For example, the sale EU, um, delivery of goods. Next to the actual tax code, uh, you see then the predicted tax code. This is the tax code the algorithm would use instead of the current one. You can use this prediction to double check the current tax code in the system or to evaluate whether the tax code is more favorable for the company. In order to help the user deciding which tax code is correct, additional information is included in each row. For example, the position text or the company code. To get further information, you can just click on an anomaly. The full journal entry table on the bottom of the page shows all the journal entry lines that belong to the entry. This helps to understand the overall context of the chosen posting. 
You might wonder why the algorithm chose another text code than that one in the ERP system. The variables that had the most impact on the prediction appear here in the bar chart. For example, the algorithm decided to use a different text code because the amounts of the journal entry were very high in contrast to the amounts that are usually associated with the current tax code. This way the model is no longer a black box. In case of a mistake by the model we have provided for you a feedback tool for further model improvements. Just tell the algorithm where it was right or wrong to train it up to human level performance. In order to track the performance of the algorithm we have integrated an overview about the prediction metrics for each text code. You see on the left each text code for which forecasts were made. Precision indicates the percentage of predictions that were correct, where, uh, whereas recall is indicating the percentage of all text code that were predicted by the model correctly. That is a subtle but important difference. When we speak about correct, we mean the same text code was predicted as it is noted in the system. It should be noted that the current text code in the system does not have to be either correct or the, mo the most favorable for the company. At this point, the metrics must be taken with a grain of salt. The support column on the right displays for each text code the number of journal entries for which a text code has been predicted. You can use the metrics table to get a better intuition about two things. First, are there any text codes uh, where additional feedback for the algorithm could improve the performance significantly? Second, which text codes have a good performance and the predictions or anomalies found are highly reliable? So. With this information, you can be assured to find anomalies. Finally, you improve your overall quality of the accounting department. We have come to the end of our presentation. So if you have any questions in mind about the solution or to another use case, then please do not hesitate to contact us. We hope you have enjoyed our walkthrough. Thank you very much and we hope to see you back soon.